Have you ever experienced anxiety or depression to the point where it's really affecting your life? Well, this video can help you, okay? Now, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, uh, some of this will be a repeat, but I want to show you the connection between hypoglycemia, camouflaged as anxiety and depression. I believe most mood disorders are really a low blood sugar situation, okay? Low blood sugars can create many symptoms. Depression, anxiety, bipolar, which is a symptom, headaches, fatigue, dizziness, irritability, crying spells, suicidal thoughts, ADHD, many, many mood, other mood disorders as well. So I want to talk about the connection between your mood and your blood sugars. It's huge. The brain normally is dependent on running on glucose or sugar for its fuel, okay? Uh, it can run in another fuel source, but it's mainly dependent on glucose. Now, anytime you have hypoglycemia, you also have a condition called insulin resistance. And insulin resistance is basically this. The insulin, being a key, can't connect to the cell anymore, okay? It's blocked. And because insulin controls the door to allow glucose to go in the cell, you don't get any glucose in the cell, which causes a signal to the pancreas that tells the pancreas to make more insulin. And all this excess insulin then can drive sugars down too low and you end up with a hypoglycemic situation or a low blood sugar situation. And that can actually starve the brain of its fuel that it needs, okay? And of course, the treatment for that medically is either drugs for some of these psychiatric uh, so-called diseases, which are really symptoms, or telling you to eat six meals a day, have a lot of snacks, eat more carbs, okay, to get your sugar up. It's all about getting your sugar up and balancing these blood sugars. Now, if you have protein, that will bring the sugar up, but it doesn't necessarily correct this hypoglycemic reaction. Now, I used to have hypoglycemia really bad when I was 11 years old. I remember uh, playing outside and feeling really dizzy and coming in and eating sugar and feeling better. This persisted for many years. Of course, all I consumed was sugar. In fact, Halloween candy, I would have a whole bag of candy and eat, I'm not kidding, the whole thing in one sitting. Well, that actually caught up with me when I hit in my 20s and, and late 20s. I started having blood sugar problems so bad, the inside of my eyelids were just irritated. It felt like it was sand. And my whole head felt depressed, irritable all the time. So one day I um, changed my diet and all of a sudden I, it was like a, an instant I felt relief in my head and my mood started coming up and I felt much better. So what you need to realize is that you can run your, your brain on a different fuel, which is much, much better, and actually running your body on and your brain on fat fuel, okay? And that's called ketosis. Ketosis is the condition where your body is burning your own fat, okay, or dietary fat. And ketones are the byproducts of fat. So all you really have to do is change what you're eating for a period of one to two, maybe three weeks to completely change these right here. In fact, you'll be very, very surprised how good you're gonna feel when you do this. So number one, you have to realize that these are symptoms, okay? They're not diseases. Number two, you have to realize that con consuming frequent meals makes things worse over time. Trying to keep your sugars up will never get rid of the problem. You have to change the food that you're eating. Now, how do we do that? I have a little mini course down below that anyone can take. It's a free course. It's very quick. That shows you the basics of how to get your body into healthy ketosis. I mean, it might take you a half hour to watch all the videos, okay? Once you know how to do that, you need to apply the information and do this over a period of one to two to three weeks. Your body's gonna start switching from glucose to ketones in that period of time. I show you how to do it very gradually, very healthily, to the point where all of a sudden, your cognitive function, your mood starts getting better and better and better, and then you're gonna be convinced that this is the way to go. So go ahead and get started and send me your success stories. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Keep spreading the word and share this video.